So it's in a way that it's comfortable uh, for you to sit today. Let your arms rest onto your thighs and align, align the back of skull with sacrum. And just give yourself a moment or two. Feel yourself landing on your mat and feeling for being in a space, a safe space. Being in your own yoga sanctuary. Activate your feet, spread toes and spread the balls of your feet. As you go through your class today, really feeling for what is important to you. What are you trying to achieve uh, with your poses? So try to keep that as your focus. And then within that intent is to try to understand or be aware of what your habits are, whether you're forcing yourself into a place that your body's not quite ready for and then achieving disappointment or whether you're working with ease or whether you're working in a way to coach, to persuade or to be able to sit with what is going on for you in the moment in which that is going on. Change often occurs at moments when we're not forcing it or not pushing. Change occurs in its own time. So you can continue to force yourself and to do something that you're not quite ready for and end up either hurting yourself, making the situation worse, or feeling disappointed because you didn't get where you expected to be. Become aware of how your body, how your yoga helps you to have application beyond the physical practice of the asanas. So right now, as you're sitting here, notice what's coming up for you. Notice what you feel and where you feel this in your body. And notice also your reactions, your thoughts about what you feel. So keeping this as your focus throughout your practice today. Start with three stretches, so reach your right hand forward and take hold of the little finger on your right hand and then ease it back. Breathe into palm of hands and spread your fingers as wide as you can. And as you breathe out, glide your little finger back and release, taking hold of your ring finger. Round down into your right sit bone as you breathe in, lengthen out of right side. And as you breathe out, open your hands forward and release, taking hold of your middle finger. Now breathe and lift chest. Keep chest lifted and as you breathe out, glide your middle finger back and release, taking hold of your first finger. Breathe in, glide your thumb away from your little finger. And as you exhale, stretch each finger away from the other. Release, taking hold of your thumb. As you breathe in, glide your thumb back away from your index finger. And as you breathe out, reach the palm of your hands forward. And release, change hands. Take hold of the little finger on your left hand and ease it back. Then breathe to palm of hands, spread fingers. And as you breathe out, glide your little finger back. Release. Taking hold of your ring finger. 
Ground down into your left sit bone as you breathe in, lengthen out of left side. And as you breathe out, the palm of the hand is forward. And release, taking hold of your middle finger. Now breathe to back of heart and energize your heart with this breath. And as you breathe out, press the heel of the hands forward. And release, and taking hold of your first finger. Breathe in and glide your thumb away from your little finger. And as you exhale, lengthen each finger down towards your mat. Release, taking hold of your thumb. And then breathe in, gliding your thumb away from your index finger. And as you breathe out, heel of the hands forward. And release. Trains across of your legs, which stretches stage two. So reach your hands forward, palm of the hand spaces away from you, and be on your fingertips, spreading each finger away from the other. Press down into your sit bone as you breathe, lift and lengthening your ribs away from waist. Keep the length. As you exhale, open your hands forward. Your palm of the hands might not reach the floor. It really doesn't matter. Just keep opening the palm of the hands. Feel the energy traveling up into wrist, into the, into the arms, forearms, triceps. And breathe. As you breathe, lifting, lengthening belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, heel of the hands presses down towards the floor. Now glide the shoulders down away from your ears. Inhale, release. Reach your arms out to the side, thumb pointing skywards, fingers are spreading. Now breathe into a palm of hands. Hold the breath. Now bring in your little finger, ring finger, middle finger, first finger, thumb squeezes on top, knuckles to the floor, exhale as you stretch out the tops of your wrists. And release, reach your hands out. This time, point the fingers skywards and then breathe in. Hold the breath, bringing in your thumb first and then simultaneously all other fingers onto the thumb. On the exhale, stretch your thumb side away from you. And release, open the hands, fingers pointing, uh, thumbs pointing skywards, fingers reaching straight out and then breathe to palm of hands. Hold the breath. Now bring in one by one, little finger, ring finger, middle finger, first finger, thumb squeezes on top. Squeeze tight and then exhale, knuckles to the floor, stretching tops of ribs. Release, reach your hands forward, fingers pointing skywards and breathe in. Hold the breath, then thumb first and then simultaneously all other fingers squeezes the thumb. Exhale, stretch, stretch your thumb side away from you. And then release. Relax your arms down by your side. Pranayama today is Kapalabhati breathing uh, in shoelace. So we'll do three, three rounds of Kapalabhati in shoelace. So place your tighter side. So you're coming into shoelace with your tighter side on top. So in my case, my tighter side is my right foot on top of the left. Then bring your hands behind you, make the adjustment. So if you need to adjust having the foot onto the car, the foot onto a block or the floor, or being cross-legged, just work with that today. Bring your hands slightly behind your hips and then feel for pushing the floor away. Your feet are active, your spine is long. Kapalabhati breathing, 75 pumps today in each uh, in each stage, and after each round, you do uh, you bring your hands forward, pulling belly back into Uriana. So the complete round is 75 pumps. Hands forward, inhale, exhale. So we'll do that three times. Hands by hips, push the floor away. Be active. Take a partial breath. Inhale. Sharp exhale through the nose, moving back.
and then breathe in as deep as you can, filling yourself up. Feeling the breath, allowing it to whirl around inside. Bring your hands forward, not so far forward, and then exhale. <sighs> exhale completely, touch into chest, suck your belly in, pull it in, pull it up. So Uriana, you're hollowing your belly out. Soften the shoulders, keep lengthening through the spine. And release, push floor away, breathe in, as you come all the way, unbuck, back up, change the cross of them. Follow bar to breathing, shoelace, 75 pumps, hands by hips. Breathe in, sharp exhales, moving the belly. And then breathe in. Hold the breath, keep the spine long, keep the feet active. Bring your hands forward, forward bend and exhale. <sighs> exhale completely, chin tucks in, pull your belly back, pull it in, pull it up. Spreading ribs, spread diaphragm, and keep feeling for hollowing your belly out. Shoulders relax away from your ears. And release, push the floor away, breathe in as you come up. Now, shoelace with your tighter foot on top. Then bring hands by hips, last round in this, inhale. And exhale, sharp exhales. And breathe in deeply. Hold the breath. Allow the breath to permeate deep into cell tissues. Allow the breath to connect into hips and where you're feeling this most. Then put hands forward and exhale. <sighs> exhale completely. Tuck the chin to chest. Pull belly in. Pull it in, pull it up. Spread ribs, spread diaphragm, and keep feeling for hollowing your belly out. And release, pushing the floor away, breathe in as you come all, all the way on up. And you straighten your legs. So your next pose from here is Unlocking, unlocking the hips. Bring the soles of your feet together. Flex your toes back towards your shins. Your heels about 12 inches away from your pelvic bone. Bring your hands onto your right thigh. Your right hand is on top. 
As you breathe in, lift off of your right sit bone. You're on your left sit bone. Now traction your right thigh away from you. You exhale, coming back onto right sit bone. Release your left hand. Bring your left hand down by your left hip. Press into your right sit bone. As you breathe in, glide your ribs away from right hip. And as you breathe out, traction your right thigh away from that right hip. Now breathe in, lift sternum. And as you exhale, if you can, you're straightening your right arm as you reach your thigh away from it. Breathe into lower back as you're lengthening lower ribs away from waist. And as you breathe out, gliding the thigh away. On the next breath, lengthen belly, lift belly away from thigh. Keep inhaling as you lift your diaphragm, lift chest. Now as you exhale, turn towards your left shoulder. Your right thigh glides away. Now breathe as you inhale, lengthen out of left side. And as you exhale, you're folding towards your left thigh. Right thigh is gliding away from you. Sit close, presses down and breathe to lengthen out of lower back. Lead with your chest, exhale, as you're folding over your left thigh. Inhale, release. Let ease all the way on back up. Other side, your left hand is on top of the thigh, right hand is underneath. You breathe in, lift away from your left sit bone, Glide your left thigh away from you. As you breathe out, bring your right hand by right hip, and traction your left thigh towards the left. Be active. Pressing down into your left sit bone. Breathe in, glide your ribs away from hip. And as you breathe out, straighten your left arm as you glide your left thigh away from hip. As you breathe, lift out of your lower back. And as you exhale, move your chest towards the right. Now breathe and lift sternum as if you're lifting chest to chin. As you glide on exhale, glide your left thigh towards the left and start to feel as if you're twisting towards the right. Now breathe in and feel your back ribs open with your breath. And as you breathe out, moving belly away from your left thigh, side ribs are opening. One more breath here, deep breath. And as you exhale, you're folding towards your right, left thigh is moving away from here. Then inhale, release. As you ease all the way on up. Your next pose today is Marichisana. Uh, one. So straighten your left leg. Your right foot is flat to the floor. Your right heel is moving towards your right sit bone. Your right arm is reaching up and then it reaches forward as if you're grabbing your uh, left foot or ankle. Once you reach there, in fact, we'll stay here for a couple of breaths. So press down into your right foot. Breathe in, lift your ribs away from right hip. And as you exhale, reach forward. So you're opening the side uh, muscles and opening into lower back. Press down into your uh, right sit bone and right foot. As you breathe in, keep lifting out of right side. And as you exhale, as you fold forward, right foot, left foot is active as you reach it forward, toes are spread. From here, slide your uh, right arm around the shin of your right leg. The left arm is around the back and bind the hands. And if you're not able to bind today, then let the hands be on the floor or into waistband or use a strap. Use a strap to bind. So you have those options that are available to you. Press into your right sit bone. Breathe in, lift your side ribs away from right hip. And as you press your arm against your right shin, you're folding forward. The press of your foot, the press of sit bone, gives you traction. 
keep the neck relaxed. Don't, lend, don't stretch through your neck. Now breathe into sternum, deep breath. And as you exhale, folding forward towards your left shin. Spread the breath into back ribs, deep breath. And as you breathe out, you fold forward. Then inhale, release, and ease, ease all the way on back up. Cross your right leg over your left. Your right heel is moving towards your uh, left hip. Left hand slides around and you're hugging. You're, I give you two options. You're either sliding, so you're moving the foot towards your chest. And some of you will prefer or might prefer this opening where you're turning away. So you're either hugging it to you or twisting away from your thigh. You'll be twisting away from the thigh or twisting towards the thigh, depending on arm position. Left arm is back. So right arm is back to the floor, either lined up with sacrum or lined up with right hip. Press down into right sit bone and breathe in lengthen side ribs away from here. Press your right foot to the floor as you twist to the right. Keep the back of the skull aligned with sacrum. Now breathe as you breathe, lift sternum. And as you exhale, as you twist to the right, Reach your left foot forward, spread the toes. As you breathe, lengthen your back ribs up. Pressing your right foot down as you twist to the right. Breathe in and expand your ribs out to the side. And with ease, exhale as you twist to right. Uh, inhale, release, then ease it back to center. From here, you tuck your right foot in so the heel is by the groin. Option to bring your foot back, coming into a seated side bend. So the option is to bring your right foot back, drawing your right heel towards your right knee. Left leg is reaching forward. Your right hand is back, is grabbing hold of your left ankle, or the fingertips are to the floor. Press into left sit bone. Inhale, reach your left arm up as you open side ribs. And as you breathe out, bring the hand down on the inside. Relax your left ear to left shoulder. You're not holding right ankle with right hand. Lift your right hand up and then reach it back, 12 inches from the floor. Now breathe in, lift your left ribs away from left hip. And as you exhale, glide your right shoulder away from your right hip. Everyone, breathe the sternum. Feel as if you're lifting your chest bones up. Chest is moving to chin. Now continue to move chest to chin, but as you exhale, glide your right shoulder away from right hip. On the next breath, slide your right arm all the way around the back and tuck it onto your left thigh, hip or clothing. And as you breathe out, Move your left, your right shoulder back. Move it away from your uh, right ear. Now from your pelvic bowl, breathe in and move your belly back and then lift it away. Lift it away from pelvis. And as you exhale, lift your chest. Glide your right shoulder down as if you're squeezing shoulder blades toward each other. Breathe to the right side of neck, deep breath. Feel on exhale that you're lengthening your right ear away from your right shoulder. On the next breath, release your right arm and reach your right arm up towards the sky, fingers spread. Chest open as you exhale, as you arc your chest forward, reaching your right arm straight back. And breathe to back of heart, energize your heart with breath. And as you breathe out, send in that right arm back, bone is moving away from bone. Inhale, reach your right arm up towards the sky. And as you breathe out, glide your right arm forward over your right ear. Feet active. Deep breath, lift out 
of your left side. And as you exhale, as you reach your left, your right arm forward, send your uh, left, your right sit bone back. Breathing, spread your lungs wide out to armpit. Forward bend, exhale, hands are down either side of your left foot. Keep reaching out, spreading the toes. Breathe into lower back, lengthening lower ribs up. And as you breathe out, you're folding forward over your left thigh. Now breathe to where you feel this most. Allow your body to feel the ease, to feel the pleasure in the pose as you fold. Breathe into back ribs, using this breath to open up your back ribs. And as you exhale, as you fold forward, move your belly away from your thigh. And then notice what your habits are. Notice what is coming up for you. Inhale, release, push the floor away. Breathe in as you come all the way on back up. Release your right foot. Reach your right foot straight forward. Bring your left foot back so the foot, left foot is back to the floor. Bring in your left heel towards your left sit bone. Your right hand is by your right hip. As you inhale, reach your left arm is up. And as you exhale, lengthening your left arm forward. That left foot is flat. Your left sit bone presses down. So breathe in, lift out of your left side. And as you exhale, feel the ease as you fold forward. Your back is nicely open up from your last sequence. Breathe into sternum, lift chest. And then as you exhale, as you fold forward, feel how much easier it becomes when you allow your body to relax into the pose. One more like this, breathe into lower back and lengthen. And as you exhale, you fold. Find your sliding your left arm around your left shin. Your left arm reaches back towards your sit bone. Right arm is reaching around the back and bind the hands. If you're not able to bind, then use a strap or slide your hands into uh, clothing to keep some traction. Pressing into your left sit bone and left foot, and then breathe in, lift, lengthen ribs away from that left hip. And as you exhale, as you fold forward, your arm, your left arm presses against your uh, left shin. Keep the neck relaxed. Breathe into heart, deep breath. And as you breathe out, you're folding forward. That right foot is active. On the next breath, spread the breath into back ribs. And with ease, exhale as you fold. Spread your lungs with the breath, so spread. Spread your lungs wide so the ribs, they open out to side. Press your left foot to the floor on exhale. And now release and ease all the way on back up. Your left foot is over your right thigh, so the left foot is flat to the floor, and you're moving your left heel towards towards your right hip. You have the option of hugging your left thigh towards the chest. Your left hand is to the floor, reaching it back about 12 inches from here, or you can turn so the arm comes down and you're twisting away. So those are the options available. Press into left sit bone, breathe in, lengthen your left side ribs up away from here. And as you exhale, as you twist to the left, reach your right foot forward, feet are active. Now breathe as you breathe, keep moving belly back away from your left thigh. And exhale, twist to the left. Notice 
whether you're forcing yourself into the pose. Try to ease off a little bit and then ask your body what it needs. And then deliver, deliver this, deliver it with your breath. And then exhale, feel for opening up a little bit more. Maintain a deep dialogue with yourself or with your body. So breathe in and lift out of right side. As you lengthen your right leg forward, twist to the left. And then inhale, release. So giving yourself time into the pose to feel the pose. Your left foot is tucked in, so the heel is by the groin, foot presses against your thigh. Option to bring your left foot back so that the left heel is by your glutes and move your thighs away from each other. If your knees are turning in in this way and you feel this into hips, hurting the hips, hips or knees, and that's not the pose for you today. Move your left uh, thigh back, your right leg is reaching forward and the knees tucked in, foot's tucked in. Your left hand reaches back, it grabs hold of the ankle or the fingertips are to the floor. Press into right sit bone, inhale, reach your right arm up, spread fingers. Now as you exhale, bring your hand down, right hand on the inside of right leg, be active, relax your right ear with right shoulder. You're not holding your left ankle with left hand. Lift your left hand up, reach it back. Now breathe. Breathe to belly. Fill your belly up with this breath. Keeping the chest lifted. Now exhale and reach your right sit bone back to the floor. Sit bones reaches back. Now with your sit bones pressing back down, use this to traction and then breathe in traction, your lower ribs away from your right hip. And as you breathe out, glide your uh, belly away from your right thigh. On the next breath, slide your left arm all the way around the back and tuck it onto your right thigh, hip or clothing. And as you breathe out, move your left shoulder Move it down away from your ears. Breathe to the left side of your neck. Deep breath. Feel as if you're lengthening your left ear away from left shoulder. And feel this opening on exhale as you're relaxing your left ear to, sorry, right ear to right shoulder. You feel a little bit more opening to the left side of neck. Relax your uh, chin towards the right side of chest. Now breathe, breathe into the left side of neck. Lift your chest on exhale and then squeeze shoulder blades so that the left shoulder is away from your ear. You now release your left arm, reach your left arm up towards the sky. And as you exhale, as you arc your chest forward, chest opener, reach your left arm straight back, spread fingers. Breathe to back up heart, energize your heart with this breath. And as you exhale, feel as if you're lengthening that left arm back away from left ear. Inhale, reach your left arm right up, up towards the sky. Keep the length. And as you exhale, lengthen your left arm over left ear. Breathe in and lift your right ribs up away from right hip. And exhale, right, left arm is over your left ear. Now breathe in. As you breathe, lifting belly. Keep inhaling, lifting diaphragm. Keep inhaling as you move your chest forward to chin. Forward bend on exhale, hands down either side of your right leg. Can have the hands onto the foot, the ankle, the calf, or hands to the foot. Keep the neck relaxed. And then breathe into upper back. And as you exhale, you're folding forward. 
Breathe into the lower belly as you're moving belly away from pelvis. And exhale with ease, allow your body to ease forward or allow your body to stay. So don't feel compelled to push forward, stay. Learning when to stay. Breathe in and spread, spread the breath into back ribs. Listening to body and exhale. If you can fold, fold, otherwise stay. And then feel the benefits, feel what happens when you are responsive to your body's needs to what you feel. One more breath in this deep breath. And as you exhale, allowing your body to, to luxuriate in the pose. Inhale, release, pushing the floor away, breathe in as you come all the way on. Uh, straighten your legs. So you're coming into your abdominal sequence. We do elbow to knee and broga uh, today in the first sequence. So lie down on your back. Lie down on your back. Your hands are clasped behind your head and neck. Your feet are off the floor. If your back is straight, your feet will be on the floor. Uh, from here, press your look. Okay. So I'll go through. If your back is straight, your feet on the floor. Inhale, you lift your head, shoulder blades up. You hold the breath. When you exhale, you curl tailbone up. Your elbows are to left knee and belly pulls in. If you can go further, you lift your right foot up. If you can't go further, you straighten the that leg. Belly's in. So whilst we're here, I will demonstrate the second stage of this pose. So broga here, as you inhale, you lift your head, shoulder blades up, you hold the breath. When you exhale, you curl tailbone up, your elbows are to your left knee, belly pulls in. If you're doing broga with the foot onto the floor, you're pressing your left foot onto your right thigh. When you exhale, as you curl tailbone up, you're tractioning your thigh, both thighs are tractioning away from you. Lift the chest, reach your elbows up, then pull belly in. Then inhale, head to center, and then change. So that's that sequence of the two versions was for those who are protecting lower back. Otherwise, lift your feet up off the floor, the knees are bent. The knees are lined with hips, heels are below the knees and toes, flex the shins. Hands behind head and neck. Press your lower back to the floor. Inhale, lift your head, shoulder blades up, away from the floor. Hold the breath. Exhale, curl tailbone up, and your elbows into left knee. Now reach your right leg forward. Spread the, spread the ball of your feet. Feel for lengthening each toe away from the other. Lift your chest. Reach your elbows up. Reach them up, reach the back. As you reach your right leg forward, pull belly in. Inhale, head to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back down to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, your elbows are to right knee. You're reaching your left leg forward. Keep the bent knee over the hips, don't move it towards the chest. Relax your left hip, curl tailbone up. Now lengthen your left thigh forward. Keep the chest lifted. Reach your elbows up, pull belly in. Inhale, head to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath. Press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up and reach your elbows to your left knee. Reach your right leg forward. Relax your left thigh. Curl tailbone up. Now reach your thigh bone forward. Pull belly in. Lift your chest. Reach your elbows up. Pull belly in and press your lower back to the floor. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath. The top rim of the sacrum is pressing to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, your elbows are to your right knee. You're reaching your left leg forward. Now spread the toes, spread the ball of your feet. Lengthen each toe away from the other. Lift your chest, reach your elbows up towards the sky. Now pull belly in. As your belly pulls in, feel as if you're hugging your ribs. 
Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to floor. Exhale, curl the elbows up. Reach both elbows to left knee and reach your right leg forward. Spread the toes. Reach, feel for lengthening each toe away from the other. Now lift your chest. Reach your elbows up as you reach your right leg forward. Pull belly in. You're hugging the ribs down and pressing your lower back to floor. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press the top rib of the sacrum to floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Your elbows are to right knee. You're reaching your left leg forward. Keep the bent knee over the hips. Now relax your left hip. Curl tailbone up. Send your left leg forward. Lift the chest. Reach your elbows up. Reach them back. Pull belly in. Hug the ribs down. And press your lower back to floor. Inhale. Come back to center. Bend the knees. Hold the breath. And press your lower back down. Roga. As you exhale, curl tailbone up, your elbows into your left knee. Reach your right leg straight up. Place your left foot on the inside of your right thigh. The foot presses against your thigh. Curl tailbone up. Send your right leg straight up. Reach your right elbow up. Glide your left thigh away from left hip. Pull belly in. Inhale, head to center. Bend the knees, hold your breath, and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Your elbows into your right knee. Reach your left leg straight up. Place your right foot on the inside of the left thigh. Foot presses against your thigh. As you curl tailbone up, send your left leg straight up. Reach your left elbow up. Both shoulder blades are off the floor. Glide your right thigh away from hip. Pull. Low belly in. Inhale, head to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back down to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, elbows to left knee. Reach your right leg up. Place your left foot on the inside of the thigh. Foot presses against your thigh. Curl tailbone up. Send your right leg up. Reach your right elbow up. Reach it up, reach it back. Glide your left thigh away from hip. Pull belly in. Inhale, head to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, elbows to right knee. Reach your left leg straight up. Place your right foot on the inside of left thigh. Curl tailbone up, traction your left. Use your right foot to traction your left thigh up. Reach your left elbow up. Glide your right thigh away from hip. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to floor. Exhale, release. Go ahead and shoulders down and place the soles of your feet onto the floor. Let's just give yourself this moment to notice how you feel. Feeling the energy that is moving through your body right now. Grab hold of your lock for abs with the lock for abs or bridge with the block. Actually, I'll try, we'll do something slightly different today, uh, but the block will be here. It's just giving you a, a choice, giving you an option today. So the option is just increasing the intensity of this pose. So keep the block handy just in case you decide that you want to use the block instead of using the option that I'm going to give you. So the option I'm going to give you is that you have a strap and your strap is into a loop. Mine is a fairly small loop. So I'll demonstrate uh, the pose and then you can have a go. You'll be setting up for bridge. Uh, you'll be lying down onto your back and you're placing the strap around, in this instance, my right ankle. The strap is just allowed to be there on the floor. Your heels 
they are aligned with sit bones. You reach down with the fingers brushing the heel. Your arms relax by your side. So this first stage is familiar in terms of coming up into bridge. You breathe in, you move belly away from pelvis. You exhale, push the floor away as you lift up. So you stay here for a couple of breaths. You're then reaching right hand down, grabbing hold of the strap and moving your heel closer to sit bone. You grab hold of the strap with both hands here. In this instance, it's as if the shoulders are squeezing to almost towards each other. So you breathe in, you stay here, you move chest to chin. You exhale, you lift up. So this is where the deeper challenge comes. You press your right foot to the floor, breathe in, lift your left foot up, draw the knee to chest. And as you breathe out, you lengthen that leg up. So you are now using the arms to hold and to help to traction as you lift up. So usually you would have a block on the sacrum as you lift. You're now using your, it's a slightly more challenging, you're using your arms and you're using the, um, the strap against the foot to lift. It opens you up a little bit more, but it's actually more demanding, more challenging than the block. Okay, so you have a choice of having the block or the strap. Set up for bridge. Draw your heels back towards your sit bones. Press your feet to the floor. Reach down with your fingertips, brush your heels. Heels are out line with sit bones. Now relax your arms down by your side and relax your shoulders away from your knees. Press your lower back to the floor. And then breathe into lower back, lengthening belly away from pelvis, lengthen lower ribs away from sacrum. Press your feet to the floor, and as you exhale, tilt pelvis, lifting pelvis up away from the floor. Now breathe in. As you breathe in, glide your side ribs away from hips as if the ribs are coming up towards your armpit. Press into your heels, exhale as you lift. If you're using the strap, place the strap around your right ankle. Grab hold of the strap. The strap is in a loop. Grab hold of the strap with your right hand, draw the right heel towards the right sit bone. Reach your left arm under, both hands have grabbed hold of the strap. You ease your shoulders, slide under as if your elbows are coming closer towards each other. Deep breath, inhale. Push the floor away on exhale as you lift up. Breathe into lower back, lengthening lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, as you lift up, send thighs away from you. Remember, you can also use a block. You're anchoring into your right leg. Breathe in, lift your left leg up, draw the left into chest. And as you exhale, reaching your left leg out and up towards the sky. Breathe into the left hip, deep breath. And as you exhale, as you press your right foot down, send your left leg straight up. All of the foot is reaching up. Now relax your throat. And then breathe into left hip, deep breath. Push the floor away with right leg on exhale as you send that left leg straight up. On the next breath, bend your left knee, draw the knee to chest. And as you breathe out, place your left foot to the floor. Then breathe in deeply, spread your ribs out to side. And as you exhale, tilt pelvis coming down, coming all the way down, keeping the tilt. Once you're all the way down, remove, remove the strap, place the strap on, on your, around your uh, left ankle. Move your left heel towards your left sit bone. You're using the block, then the block, then just switch. Now breathe in deeply, lengthen ribs away from waist. You exhale, tilt pelvis as you lift up. Draw your left heel back towards your left sit bone. Grab hold of the strap with both hands. Now breathe in as you breathe, keep lengthening ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, tilt pelvis, lift up. Feel as if you're pressing pubic bone up towards the sky. On the next breath as you breathe, lift your right foot off the floor, draw the right knee to chest. 
And as you breathe out, reaching your right leg out and up towards the sky. Breathe into right tip, feel for easing right thigh away from pelvis. Press your left foot down, exhale as you reach your right leg up. Deep breath, inhale. And as you exhale, push the floor away with left leg, reaching your right leg up. On the next breath, bend your right knee to your knee to chest. And exhale, place your right foot down, both feet to the floor. Breathe in deeply, lengthen side ribs away from hips. Exhale, tilt pelvis, lift. Lift up, just feel this opening into lower back now. Now breathe into lower back and lengthen ribs away from sacrum. Push the floor away on exhale as you lift, send thighs and knees away from you. Deep breaths. And exhale, tilt pelvis, lower your upper back to floor. Tilt pelvis, lower mid back to floor. Tilt pelvis as you lower all the way down. There's a nice little variation on bridge. Grab hold of your roll or your block. Gate opener. So the roll or the block is now placed between your thighs and your legs are reaching straight out and up towards the sky. Your hands are clasped behind your head and neck. Your lower back presses the floor. But also you can do this pose with your feet on the floor, especially if your back is tweaky or with your knees bent. So your pose, if your back was tweaky, you will breathe, uh, everyone, everyone can do this. So you're breathing into lower back. Hold the breath, squeeze the roll and feel for sending thighs and knees up. And as you exhale, lift your head, shoulder blades up away from the floor. Squeeze the roll, reach your legs up, reach your heels away from you and pull belly in. Then inhale, place your left arm onto the roll and lengthen your legs out. So you're moving out as if you was in frog position. And as you exhale, curl pubic bone up and press your hands down. Lengthen thighs away from you. Reach your right elbow up, pull belly in. Inhale, legs together, hands behind your head, lower head and shoulders to floor. So that's a version for if your back is tweaky. Otherwise, straighten your legs. Now everyone, breathe into lower back. Hold, the, hold into lower back, spreading the ribs to the floor. Hold the breath. Now exhale, lift your head, shoulder blades up, away from floor. Squeeze the roll. Stretching your legs right up, reach out with active feet. Pull belly in. Inhale, place your right hand onto the roll and straddle your legs. And as you breathe out, curl pubic bone up to the roll and press your hand down onto the roll. Lengthen your legs out towards the side. Reach your left elbow up towards the sky. Pull belly in. Inhale, legs together. Hands behind your head, lower head and shoulders to floor. Hold the breath, squeeze the roll, and reach your legs straight up. Exhale, lift head, shoulder blades up, away from the floor. Squeeze the roll, squeeze sit bone to tailbone. Stretch your legs up, reach your elbows up, full belly in. Inhale, place your left hand onto the roll, and straddle your legs. And as you exhale, curl pubic bone up onto the roll and press your hands down. Lengthen your legs out, reach out with active feet. Reach your right elbow up, pull belly in. Inhale, legs together, hands behind your head. Lower head and shoulders to the floor. Hold the breath, squeeze the roll, reach your legs up. Exhale, lift your head, shoulder blades up, away from the floor. Squeeze, roll. Squeeze sit bone, pull belly in. Inhale, place your right hand onto the roll and straddle your legs. And as you exhale, curl pubic bone up to the roll as you press your hands down. Lengthen your legs out to the side. Reach your left elbow up, unlock the shoulders, pull belly in. Inhale, legs together, hands behind your head. Lower head and shoulders to floor. Exhale, bend the knees, 
and place the soles of your feet to the floor. Move the roll out of your way. Roll to your uh, right side. Left hand is to the floor by chest, breathe in. And as you breathe out, push the floor away with your left hand as you come all the way to the top. And come up to standing. So you're standing in horse dance. Your next pose today is unlocking the shoulders in horse dance. So your knees are bent, you're moving the thighs out towards the side. Knees uh, lined with the middle, the second and middle toe. Lift your left arm up and then reach it forward. You're tucking your right thumb into your armpit or slightly just below the armpit. So it's on this. Okay, so you can do this, you can all do this. Get closer. There's a moment in which the rib cage, your uh, trapezius muscles here, your lats uh, here, the muscles here, and the ribs are there. So you're sliding your hand between these two places, and you find a moment in which there's a separation between the muscle and the ribs. That's kind of where you're wanting to slide the hands. You, you, you find it, it's like it, it slips into it. So that's where you're going with that. And then your elbow is up and you're kind of reaching it forward in this way. So now you breathe into the left side of the upper back. And as you exhale the shoulders down, but reaching your forearms forward. So you feel your pectoral muscles are, are, are engaged. Your latissimus muscles are engaged. So that's where you're going with that. We'll do that one more time. So breathe in. Breathe into the left side of upper back. And as you exhale, glide the shoulder back and down, but reach your forearm forward. Fingers are reaching skywards. Place your right hand onto your left bicep. In this instance, you're raising the bicep up, gliding it forward. But only do this if you've not dislocated shoulder. So now breathe into the left side of upper back. Hold the breath. Raise your bicep up. And as you breathe out, feel as if you're gliding your bicep all the way forward until you reach the, the elbow uh, joint. Your hand is now pressing against the, the elbow. Now breathe into upper back. Hold the breath. And as you exhale, glide the shoulder back and down, but feel as if you're reaching your forearm forward. Hand presses against your uh, elbow joint. Arm presses against the elbow. Elbow presses against the hand. And then release the other side. Your right arm is reaching up. You're going through the same process. Your thumb is sliding into that space between the rib and your uh, muscles, the latissimus mus muscles. Now breathe into upper back. And as you exhale, glide the shoulders down, reach your forearm forward. Fingers are spreading, palm of the hand is open. And once more like this, breathe in. And as you exhale, glide the shoulders down and back. Now feel as if you're reaching forward. You'll feel as if you're squeezing that thumb. Place your left hand onto your right bicep. Only do this if you're not dislocated shoulder. Breathe into the right side of upper back. Hold the breath, then raise your bicep up. And as you exhale, gliding your bicep forward, the shoulders are down, the forearm is reaching forward. Once you're there, place your left hand onto the elbow joint and then breathe into the right side of upper back. As you exhale, as you glide the shoulders down, reach your forearm forward. Fingers are spreading, hand presses onto elbow, elbow presses onto hand. And then release. Second stage, reach your arms forward. The elbows are slightly higher than the shoulders, the fingers are spreading. Now breathe into upper back, upper back, broaden. Exhale, reach your forearms forward, drop your shoulders and then squeeze in. Squeeze as if you're squeezing a great big beach ball. Keep the chest lifted. And then breathe into upper back, broaden upper back. And as you exhale, shoulders down. Now reach forward, 
squeeze, squeeze your elbows in as if you're against, as if you're pushing up against the wall, shoulders down. Two more like this, deep breath. Shoulders down, exhale, now reach forward, squeeze your elbows in, fingers are active as they reach up, shoulders down, keep the chest lifted. And then one more like this, deep breath. Shoulders down, exhale, reach forward, now squeeze, squeeze your elbows in, keep reaching the forearms forward, keep squeezing your hands, elbows as if they're moving towards each other. And release. And stand. Come onto knees for your neck pose, which is dolphin. So your shoulders are nicely open, so they're ready for this. Today we do dolphin and dolphin flash prep. So measure up the dolphin, your hands are onto your biceps, your elbows are to the floor. Reach your hands forward and spread the fingers. You can clasp your hands in this pose if you choose. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders, and relax your upper back. And then breathe into upper back, lift, spread upper back, curl, toes under. Exhale, lift knees off the floor, and then move your chest back to thighs and knees. Breathe into front of heart. And as you breathe out, reach your sit bones up, reach it up, reach it back. Now breathe in, as you breathe, spread the breath into back ribs. And as you exhale, as you reach back, feel the back of the thighs, the back of your calves as they open up. Breathe into pelvis, move belly away from pelvis. Push the floor away on exhale, lengthen top ribs away from shoulders. One more breath like this. Breathe in, broaden the upper back, spread. Spread your ribs to armpit. And exhale, lengthen back. Reach your sit bones back. Inhale, release. Bend the knees, come all the way down to the floor. From here, you will come into dolphin flash prep. We'll demonstrate flash prep. Uh, just as a reminder, and then you can have a go. So in your dolphin flash prep, the measurement is the same. Elbows to the floor. You reach your hands forward. My left hand is reaching forward. My right hand is reaching back. Elbow is tucking in. Elbow and wrist are aligned. Fingers are spread. From here, you breathe in. You lift, spread back, and curl, toes under. Exhale, lift the knees off the floor. Move, check, move your elbow inwards so it's not flared out towards the side. Feels as if you're squeezing and wrapping the shoulders. Then breathe in deeply. And as you exhale, send your sit bones back. So that is your pose. This is your flash breath. If you're working with flash breath with one leg up, you have the option to reach up in this way. And then come and down. Okay. I'm not sure whether you can actually see this. But with my, with my right foot pressing against this block, it, it creates a lot more stability. So the wobbliness that you feel, that foot was, my foot pressing against that gave me a lot of stability uh, in the pose. So that is something that you might try in this. So this is what it looked, looked like. So my foot is pressing there. I have a lot of confidence because I'm not in this position, you know, I'm not wobbling with that back foot. The foot is anchored against a wall or is anchored in, my, in this instance, it was anchored against a block. So again, try to see what works for you uh, when you're doing these poses. So coming up for flash prep, your hands, if you're not doing flash prep, then do dolphin again with your hands clasped. Measure up, and your left hand is forward, your right hand is back. Your right elbow and wrist are aligned, the fingers are spread. Keep the neck relaxed. Now breathe into upper back, lift, spread back, curl toes under. Exhale, lift knees off the floor, and then reach back. Tuck your right elbow in. 
Now breathe in, feel as if you're lengthening ribs away from right hip. And as you breathe out, reach back, reach heels to floor, keep tucking that right elbow in. Breathe to left armpits, deep breath. Now push the floor away with your left arm as you reach back. Feel as if you're lengthening belly away from pelvis. Have the option to stay here or the option to work with one leg up. If you're working with one leg up, press your right foot to the floor. Breathe in, lift your left leg up. And as you exhale, reach it back. Spread the toe. Now breathe into right tip, everyone. And as you exhale, move your right thigh bone away from pelvis as you reach your right heel to the floor. Breathe into left hip, deep breath. And as you breathe out, lengthen your left leg away. Everyone breathe to heart, energize heart with breath. And as you breathe out, reach your sit bones back. If you're working with floor, one leg up, lower your left foot to the floor, and then everyone bend the knees and come all the way down and change. Measure up again, then reach your right hand forward, bring your left hand back towards your left knee. Left elbow and wrist are aligned, fingers are spreading. Relax neck, relax the shoulders and upper back. Then everyone breathe into upper back, lift, spread back, curl toes under. And exhale, lift knees off the floor. Move your chest back to thighs and knees. Now breathe into your left hip, deep breath. And as you breathe out, feel as if you're sending left thigh away from you. Tuck your left elbow in. Breathe into your right armpit, deep breath. And as you exhale, push the floor away, keep the both shoulders wrapping. You'll decide to work with one leg up, anchor into your left leg, breathe in, lift your right leg up. And as you breathe out, reach it back. Now breathe, breathe into right hip. And as you exhale, lengthen that right leg back, but keep tucking your left elbow in, keep the neck relaxed. Everyone breathe to sternum. And as you exhale, reach back. On the next breath, if your foot is up, lower your right foot to the floor. And then everyone breathe deeply. And exhale, release. Bend the knees and come all the way under. From here, you're coming into a sequence that's uh, opening up into hips. So step into uh, hands under the shoulders. Let's start bringing hands under the shoulders. Coming into uh, downward facing dog from here. Actually, you do turbo dog first and then downward facing dog. So from here, your knees are under the hips, the hands are forward, you're spreading the fingers. Bring, for turbo dog, bring your hands a little bit wider on your mat. Neck relax. Everyone breathe into upper back, lift, spread back. Curl toes under. Exhale, lift the knees off the floor and then move your chest back to thighs and knees. Bend the elbows, tuck the elbows in as if you're squeezing your forearms and elbows towards each other. Now everyone breathe in, deep breath, spread ribs, spread upper back. And as you exhale, move your chest back to thighs and knees. Reach your sit bones back. And breathe in, breathe the sternum. And then exhale, wrap the shoulders, squeeze, squeeze your elbows in, but push the floor away. Breathe into back, spreading the breath into back ribs. And as you exhale, lengthen back, sit bones reaches back. On the next breath, as you breathe in, press your right foot to the floor, lift your left leg up, and then reach it back. Reach out, send the thigh bone away from you. Deep breath, inhale. And as you breathe out, send your left leg back. On the next breath, breathe in, rise up on the tiptoes of your right foot. Step your left foot forward between the hands for lunge. Place your right knee down to the floor. From here, moving into arrow lunge. So both hands are to the floor. Lift your right knee off the floor and reach back into straighten that back leg. You can keep the hands to the floor or bring your hands onto your left thigh. Move your thigh forward. Press back into your left leg, the right leg, and as you breathe in, feel as if you're lifting open through the psoas muscles. And as you exhale, as you go a little deeper, if you can reach your arms up, do so. 
Then breathe in and length the ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, go in a little deeper. Deep breath, press your left foot to the floor and then lift away from left thigh. And as you exhale, go in a little deeper. Inhale, release, hands to the floor. Place your right knee down, set up for lounge lunge. Bring your right hand forward about 10 inches ahead of the shoulder. Right, left hand traction's your left thigh forward. Press back into your right leg. And as you breathe in, glide the ribs forward on the right side. And as you breathe out, your left, your right side ribs are turning towards your left thigh. As you breathe, keep moving your left side ribs away from left hip. And as you breathe out, send your right leg back as you move chest towards your left thigh. Breathe the sternum, deep breath. And exhale, as you come a little deeper, you're reaching your right leg back. Inhale, release. Main cool stretch, bring your left foot towards the left edge of the mat. Your hands are now on the inside of your left leg. Curl the toes under of your right foot and reach back into right heel. So you're in the pose here now. You're reaching back into right heel. Breathe in and draw the ribs forward. And as you exhale, you're folding. If you can, bend the elbows so that the forearms are down to the floor. Press your left foot to the floor and breathe in. Lengthen the ribs forward away from left hip. And as you exhale, reach back into your right heel. You can place your right knee to the floor and release the back foot. So breathe in. Keep traction and ribs away from the right hip and as you breathe out send your left thigh and knee forward whilst reaching your right heel back deep breath and exhale release bring your hands back so the hands either side of your left foot step your left leg back for downward facing dog feeling for pushing floor away in downward dog from downward facing dog, do turbo dog, bend the elbows. Now breathe in broad on the upper back. Exhale, push back, squeeze your elbows in, move chest to thighs and knees. Anchor into your left foot, breathe in, lift your right leg up and reach it back. Keep sending the thigh away from you. On the next breath as you breathe in, step your right foot forward between the hands for arrow lunge. Place your left knee to the floor. Release the back foot. And then whilst hands are on the floor, lift your left knee off the floor, straight and left leg. You can keep the hands to the floor or bring the hands to your right thigh traction, your right thigh forward. And if you're going further, reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. Press back into your uh, left leg, breathe and lengthen ribs away from left hip. And as you exhale, go in a little deeper. Press your right foot to the floor, lift your belly away from thigh. And exhale, go in a little deeper. Inhale, release, hands to the floor. Place your left knee down. Lounge, lunge. Bring your left hand forward about 10 inches ahead of the shoulder. Right hand tractions, right thigh forward. Breathe in, lengthen ribs away from left hip. And as you breathe out, move in left side ribs to inside of right leg. Send your left leg back. Press your right foot to the floor. Breathe in, move belly forward. Move your chest forward. And as you exhale, rolling chest towards the inside of your right leg. Breathe into lower back, lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, twist, gliding your right hip back. Inhale, release. Bring your hands down so the hands are on the inside of your uh, right leg. Curl the toes under of your left foot. Reach back into left heel. That left knee is away from the floor. Mancoon stretch. Mancoon stretch. So press your right foot to the floor. And as you breathe in, glide the ribs forward away from hips. And as you exhale, allowing your body to hover over the edge of the mat. You're going further. Bend the elbows so that the forearms are onto the floor or a block. Reach back into your left heel. And as you breathe in, lengthen ribs forward away from hips. And as you exhale, as you go a little deeper, send your sit bones back. 
If this is stronger than you want it to be, place your left knee to the floor and release your back. Now breathe in, breathe in and spread the breath into back ribs. And as you exhale, reach your left heel back as you move your chest forward. One more like this, deep breaths. And exhale, release. Place the knee to the floor. Hands are under the shoulders. Step back, downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing floor away in downward facing dog. From here, as you breathe in, you're rising up to, to your toes, tiptoe. And as you breathe out, pull your belly in, reach your sit bones back. Heels to the floor. Now breathe in and spread your ribs, spread the upper back. And as you exhale, lengthen back, sit bones reaches back, heels to the floor, chest to thighs and knees. Anchor, standing on your right foot. Breathe in, lift your left leg up. And as you breathe out, reach it back, spread the feet. On the next breath, as you breathe in, draw your left knee toward the chest and hover. And as you breathe out, reach it back, lengthen that leg away from you. On the next breath, as you breathe in, draw your left knee towards your left armpit or elbow. Hover. And as you exhale, lengthen it back. On the next breath, as you breathe in, draw your left knee towards your right armpit or elbow. And as you breathe out, reach it back. On the next breath, as you breathe in, step your left foot forward between the hands for lunge. Keep the back knee off the floor, the toes are curled under of the right foot. And push the floor away as you're reaching your arms up towards the sky. Press into both legs, breathe in, lengthen ribs away from waist. And as you exhale, as you go a little deeper, reach back into your right heel. Press your left foot to the floor and then breathe, lift the belly away from thigh. And as you exhale, as you go a little deeper, keep the chest lifted. Breathe into lower back, deep breath, lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, feel as if you're moving thighs away from each other. On the next breath, spinal twist, reach your right arm straight forward. And as you breathe out, reaching your left arm straight back. Press into your left foot and then breathe in, lift out of left side. And as you exhale, open out a little bit more. On the next breath, both arms to the sky. And as you breathe out, frame your front foot as you bring the hands to the floor. Easy twisting, warrior. So your right hand is flat to the floor. You can have your right hand on the block. And as you breathe in, windmill, your left arm up towards the sky. Reach back into your right foot. Breathe in, lengthen, reach forward on your right side. Press your left foot to the floor. Exhale as you reach your left arm up to sky. Now breathe in, glide your ribs away from left hip. And as you exhale, send in that left arm spiral. And release, hands, to the, hands down either side of your front foot. Step back into plank. Then reach back into heels. And as you breathe out, lower down. Keep the elbows tucked in, reach back into heels, lower down. Breathe into cobra. Move chest and ribs forward as you lengthen legs back. And as you breathe out, press it back, downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing the floor away in your downward dog. On the breath, anchor into your left foot, breathe in, lift your right leg up. And as you breathe out, reach it back, spread the toes. On the breath, as you breathe in, draw your right knee toward the chest and hover. And as you breathe out, reach it back. On the breath, breathe in, draw your right knee towards your right armpit or elbow. And as you breathe out, reach it back. On the breath, breathe in, draw your right knee towards your left armpit or elbow. And as you breathe out, reach it back. On the next breath, as you breathe in, step your right leg forward between the hands. The toes of your left foot are curled under, push the floor away as you're reaching your arms up towards the sky. Press into both legs, and as you breathe in, telescoping ribs up. And as you exhale, as you go a little deeper, reach back into that left heel, that right thigh is reaching forward. Press into your right foot, breathing, lift belly away from thigh. 
And as you exhale, go in a little deeper. Final twist. On the breath, reach your left arm forward. And as you breathe out, reach in your right arm back. Press your right foot to floor. And as you breathe in, lengthen ribs away from right hip. And as you exhale, your arms lengthen away from each other. Deep breath. Keep that back left foot active as you lengthen ribs away from hip. And as you exhale, open a little bit more. On the next breath, arms to sky. And as you breathe out, hands down either side of your right foot. Flatten your left hand to the floor, fingers aligned with toes. The toes may be curled on the, of your left foot or the foot flat to the floor. And then easy twisting warrior, reach your right arm up to sky. Press your left foot back to the floor and breathe and lengthen the ribs away from left hip. And as you press your right foot down, open the heart towards the right. Press your right foot down, breathe in, glide your ribs away from right hip. And as you exhale, as you reach your right arm up, glide your right hip down. Breathe to sternum, deep breath. And as you exhale, send, reach your right fingertips skywards. Inhale, release. Hands down either side of your front foot. Step back for plank. Now reach your heels away from you. Hands are under the shoulders, breathe in. And as you exhale, push the floor away as you come down, keeping the elbows tucked in. Breathe into cobra. Move chest and ribs forward as you lengthen legs back. And exhale, release. Slow down and press back for downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing floor away in downward dog. Then bend the knees and come down to the floor. I'll show you where we're going next. Okay, so you've done a few of these. You, you'll be stepping into downward facing dog. And I'll just talk you through where you're going with this. So in downward facing dog, you push back. You're staying in downward facing dog. And then you're creating as much space to so make sure there's nothing in your way in this pose. In this pose, just your mat. You're in downward dog, you breathe in. And as you exhale, you're lengthening back. You're lifting your left leg up, you're reaching it back. The knees bend. You're looking under your left armpit. From there, you, you're tractioning. My right foot is pressing to the floor, and I'm lifting, lengthening belly away from the thigh. My left arm is reaching up, it reaches forward. So you're opening up in this way. And if you can go further, reach your Left leg back, lifting up as you reach your arm over your knee. Taking a couple of breaths in. And then you're swiveling back, foot back to the floor. Push back, downward facing dog. Then the other side. Deep breaths, and as you reach back. My left foot is now flat to the floor. And I'm tractioning the ribs away from hips. The knee, my right knee is reaching skywards. The foot comes down. You can either have the hands to the floor as you reach back. The foot comes up and reach back. Step it back. Downward facing dog. Okay. So. Have a go to, I mean, if you can't get all the way around by having the foot down, then don't go there. Just work with, if you can't get all the way down, so stay here, this might be your pose today. So if that's your pose, that's good enough. Just get as far. So if you get this far and you feel uncomfortable, then it's time to come back. But just work with what feels that you're opening the hips, coming back, sending your left leg, left back, and that's, so let's work with it. Hands on the shoulders, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, lift the knees off the floor and reach back. And then breathe in. As you breathe in, spread the ribs, spread the upper back. And as you exhale, reach your sit bones back. Right foot presses to the floor. Breathe in, lift your left leg up. And as you exhale, lengthen your left leg back. Spread the toes. Breathe into left hip. Feel for sending left thigh away from pelvis. And as you exhale, lengthen that left leg back. 
On the next breath, bend your left knee, draw your left heel towards your right glute, send your left thigh away from you. And then breathe in, press your right foot to floor, lengthen belly away from right thigh. And as you breathe out, send your, right, your left thigh as if it's up towards the sky. If you can, on the next breath, rise up on the tiptoes of your right foot. Allow your right heel to come all the way over, sorry, left heel all the way over towards the floor. And then reach your left arm up over your head. Deep breath, lengthen out of your right side. And as you exhale, push the floor away with your feet as you're reaching your left arm over left knee. Now breathe into heart, deep breath. Now push the floor away with your right hand and both legs. On the next breath, bring your left hand back to the floor and bring your right left foot back down to the floor for warrior one. And then breathe in, spread the ribs, spread the upper back. And as you breathe out, lengthen, sit bones back, chest to thighs and knees, heels to the floor. Anchor into your left foot, breathe in, lift your right leg up. And as you breathe out, reach it back, spread the toes. On the next breath, as you breathe in, bend your right knee, draw your right heel to left glute, bending your right thigh away from you. Now breathe in, lengthen the ribs away from your uh, left side. And as you exhale, send your right thigh back. On the next breath, as you breathe in, press into your left foot and then move your right foot down so the foot will come all the way down towards the floor. Lift your right arm up and reach it up, either straight up or over your head. Press both feet to the floor. And as you breathe in, lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, reach your right arm up, reach it back. Deep breath, inhale. Push the floor away on exhale. On the next breath, windmill your right hand back down to the floor and bring your right foot down, one uh, hand down the floor. As you breathe in, breathe in to lower back. And as you breathe out, reach your sit bones back. As you breathe, move belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, send your sit bones back. On the next breath, bend the knees, step or hop your legs between the hands. And come all the way down into seated. Bring the soles of your feet together so the knees are out to the side, flex the toes back towards your shin. Grab hold of your uh, the ball of your feet or toes. Your arms tucking down onto your onto your thighs. Breathe in, lift belly, die from the chest. And as you breathe out, fold. Breathe into lower back, lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And exhale, fold. Spread the breath into back ribs. And exhale as you fall. Breathe into sternum. Now pull your belly in on exhale, fold. Now inhale, release, coming up. Straighten your right leg. Bring your left foot over for half knee power. Your left heel is moving towards your right hip. From here, breathe in, lengthen your arms up. And as you breathe out, fold. You can take hold of the foot, the ankle, the calf, or hands to the floor. Now breathe in and feel as if you're lifting away from your right thigh. And exhale, fold. Breathe into lower back, spread ribs. And as you breathe out, you're folding forward. One more breath. And fold on exhale. Inhale, release, push the floor away, breathe in as you come all the way up. Straighten your left leg. Bring your right foot over, all the way over the right heel is coming to left hip for half knee power. Press into sit bones, breathe in, lengthen your arms out and up. And as you breathe out, you're folding forward. 
Breathe in, lift the belly away from pelvis, away from left thigh. And exhale as you fold. Spread the breath into back ribs. And exhale, fold, belly's down. One more breath into your spine. And exhale. Inhale, release, pushing the floor away. Breathe in as you come all the way up. Straighten your legs, lie down on your backs. Lift your feet up off the floor. Happy baby, legs reach up. Take hold of your big toe with the first two fingers. And then breathe into lower back, spreading ribs to the floor. And then exhale. Pull your belly in. Draw your knees to armpits, heels to ceiling. And then lengthen sit bones away from you. Keep hollowing your belly out. Two more like this, breathe in. And exhale. Pull your belly in. Keep moving belly away from pelvis. Reach your heels up, knees to armpits. Allowing this to open up into the lower back. One more. Breathe in deeply. And exhale. Pull belly in. Pull the belly all the way in. Heels up, knees down. Sit bones lengthens away from you. and release. Use your hands to draw your knees together. The soles of your feet are on the floor. You can stay here or the soles of your feet together or straighten legs. You can move to the wall and have the sit bones to the wall and your heels are up against the wall. Let your body let go into your final pose into Shavasana. Completely relax. You know, make any make any adjustments, any movements, and then let go. Feel yourself letting go of the thoughts. And not using this time to as an inquiry of how you did. Just notice what you've done and congratulate yourself. So transitioning through the whole of your body. So relaxing skull bones, the crown of your head relaxing. Relax your forehead. Relax your eyes, eye sockets, and jaw relax. Relax your nose and your cheekbones. And relax your jaw. So this is a good moment to open your jaw and move your jaw from side to side. Then relax neck. Let your shoulders melt down away from your ears, creating a little bit more lengthening into neck. And then relax your upper back. Relax your mid back and your lower back. Slight tuck. Slight tuck, so tailbones lengthen, sit, sit bones lengthens to heels. Relax your belly. Relax pelvis and thighs, relax your thighs. Relax your knees, relax calves, shins and ankles. 
and relax your heels, your feet and toes. Relax your arms, elbows, relax triceps and biceps. Relax forearms, wrists, hands and fingers. Relax your belly. Relax your diaphragm. And relax your chest. Still your mind. Stay with feeling. Feeling what comes up, the energy of what comes up. As you lie here now, feel the edges of your toes, the edges of your skin and fingers. And feel for these openings that are occurring all around your body. And breathe into these edges, acknowledging, recognizing these openings. Also being aware of some areas that may feel a little bit tight, a little bit stuck. Commit yourself to your ongoing process so that your body feels whole and not neglected. Trust in your process so that there's the unison between mind, body, such as the essence of yoga, to find this unison. So from scanning your body, on your next breaths, Begin to move in a way that your body directs, moving to the melody of your heart, to the melody of your spirit, stretching in a way that makes you feel good. And then bend the knees, move your knees towards your chest. Roll to your left side towards your heart center. Right onto the floor, onto the floor by chest, breathe in, push the floor away as you're coming up, coming into a cross leg seated position. Your hands together, the thumbs lightly touch sternum, feeling the beat of your own heart. Give yourself a moment to congratulate yourself for your practice and thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice today. Finishing with a breath, inhale and exhale. Namaste. Thanks everyone.